certainly Oregonians expect a lot of their public forests. They uh, obviously expect economic activity that's going to bring social benefits to the community, but they also expect recreational values and conservation values as well. All of my life experience suggests that when you actually get people together and begin to have a conversation, really amazing things can happen and you can create a solution space that a lot of people couldn't see before. I think this is really just the beginning. Gales Creek, this is where the 1933 fire started. You know, we're less than half a mile from where the, from the point of origin. The Tillamook burn really reshaped this forest, and over time, through a lot of a lot of effort by a lot of people, we've replanted it. Uh, and that was really just the first part of the work was getting the trees growing again. I think trying to find that right mix of values, social, economic, and environmental, that's the challenge that we have in greatest primitive value on state forests. So if you come out to Gales Creek Campground and spend the night here, and we would, would welcome you to do that. The stream up above Gales Creek and below it, we treat as a high value conservation area. We hope what you find are large trees overhanging the stream and, and shade and large wood in the stream and a beautiful place to, to come and spend your afternoon and, and look for fish in the stream and, and let your kids play and enjoy the afternoon. You cannot protect and achieve conservation for wild salmon on this state land until you create these protected areas. You have to draw circles on the map and say we're going to manage for fish and wildlife in these areas. That's a big step and thanks to the governor's leadership, they've done it. Conservation areas are a critical part of healthy, well-managed public forests. They protect our great salmon runs. They showcase our great rivers like the Kilchis and the Wilson. They provide clean water and carbon sequestration and recreational opportunities that are really hard to replace anywhere else. So I'm proud and inspired to see the Department of Forestry working to sustainably manage and conserve these areas for future generations.